Hello and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to continue our iMovie 10.1 tutorials and actually this is going to be a tutorial that I've done previously. It's how to do a picture in picture in the newest version of iMovie because the last one I made was on 10.0 which is honestly about two years ago I want to say. But go ahead and open up your iMovie and I am on version 10.1. I'm going to start off in our projects tab and I'm actually going to go ahead and scroll down. I already have a project made. It's called, uh, where is it here? something tutorials um, sorry yeah I moved 10.1 tutorials go ahead and double click it to open it and I have here some footage so let's go ahead and show you guys how to do picture in picture the layout might look a little different but all your adjustments and everything here is the same I have a previous video showing you guys of how the layout looks within the 10.1 so be sure to check that out I have a link in the description for that as well but let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and grab a segment here and I'm gonna simply drag and drop it straight into my project timeline here now let's go ahead and grab this image, which is going to be the picture-in-picture -picture portion of my um, actual video. So as you can see now, if I scroll over this in the timeline, I'll be able to see that the image actually just covers it completely, but we want it to be a picture-in-picture. -picture. So first of all, we're going to start off by with the cropping tool top right-hand corner here. And you'll notice that it automatically puts the Ken Burns on. Basically, it will start and it'll move end to a different location. But we want to do crop to fit. We want to get the whole image in here so we make the full thing. Now, let's go over to the far left hand. It's the overlay settings here. And uh, you'll be able to go ahead, instead of cut away, we're going to choose picture and picture. You also have blue, green screen, side by side. Picture and picture is what the one we're going to use here. Having that here, it looks like it just disappeared for some reason. Let's see here. Oh, that's because I don't have it. My timeline cursor is right here. So I'm going to move the main timeline here and we'll have the image. Having the image selected, I'll be able to actually grab the image. Make sure your overlay settings are open for to do this. I was like trying to figure out, I'm like, why isn't it clicking? But there you have it. Now I have a picture in picture. I can adjust it from here to size put it where I want. Also you have these dissolve, zoom, and swap. Zoom is like, basically this is the way it appears and disappears. Unfortunately you cannot turn these up, you can't choose none, so you gotta choose one. But dissolve is most common, it dissolves in and it dissolves out. Also you can set the border, different kind of border for it. You can also change the color of the border right here to the right. All your settings for the actual picture in picture will be found in the actual overlay settings right here. And also you can add a shadow to it, drop shadow, or you can reset the whole thing just in case you didn't like any of the changes you just made. And then hit the little checkbox when you're done, and there you have it, you have a picture in picture. But that's actually a cutaway, but here's a picture in picture. <laughs> you guys get it. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Be sure to leave any questions or comments in the comment section below, and later. So let my life be